Norwegian cuisine in its traditional form is based largely on the raw materials readily available in Norway and its mountains, wilderness, and coast. It differs in many respects from its continental counterparts with a stronger focus on game and fish. Many of the traditional dishes are results of using conserved materials, with respect to the long winters. Modern Norwegian cuisine, although still strongly influenced by its traditional background, now bears some globalization. Pastas, pizzas, tacos, and the like are as common as meatballs and cod as staple foods, and urban restaurants sport the same selection one would expect to find in any Western European city. Typical main meals most Norwegians eat three or four regular meals a day, usually consisting of a cold breakfast with coffee, a cold usually packed, lunch at work and a hot dinner at home with the family. Depending on the timing of family dinner, and personal habit, some may add a cold meal in the late evening, typically a simple sandwich. Breakfast, Frokost the basic Norwegian breakfast consists of milk or fruit juice, coffee, or more rarely tea, and open sandwiches with meat cuts, spreads, cheese or jam. Cereals such as corn flakes, muesli, and oatmeal are also popular, particularly with children, as is yogurt. Dinner, middag Norwegians usually eat dinner around 4 to 5 p.m. This is the most important meal of the day and typically includes carbohydrate-rich foods such as potatoes and protein-rich foods such as meat or fish. Norwegians usually eat supper kveldsmat, around 7 to 8 p.m. This may be an open sandwich. Meat Preserved meat and sausages come in a large variety of regional variations, and are usually accompanied by sour cream dishes and flatbread or wheat potato wraps. Particularly sought after delicacies include the feneler, a slow cured lamb's leg, and more, usually a smoked cured sausage, though the exact definition may vary regionally. Lamb S meat and mutton is very popular in autumn, mainly used in farakal, mutton stew with cabbage. Pinakit, cured and sometimes smoked mutton ribs that are steamed for several hours, traditionally on a bed of birch sticks, hence the name, meaning, stick meat, is traditionally served as Christmas dinner in the western parts of Norway. Another western specialty is smalahov, a salted, or salted and smoked, lamb's head. Other meat dishes include Kajotkakar, meat cakes, rough and large cakes of ground beef, onion, salt, and pepper. Roughly the size of a child's fist. Generally served with sauce espanol, kajotkakasas or brunsas in Norwegian. Potatoes, stewed peas or cabbage and carrots are served on the side. Many like to use a jam of lingonberries as a relish. The pork version is called medister cake. Kajotballer, meatballs, a rougher version of the Swedish meatballs. Served with mashed potatoes and cream sauce or sauce espanol depending on the locality. Svinakoteleter, pork chops, simply braised and served with potatoes and fried onions or whatever vegetables are available. Sveinstek, roast pork, a typical Sunday dinner, served with pickled cabbage, a sweeter variety of the German sauerkraut, gravy, vegetables, and potatoes. All good cuts of meat are roasted, as in any cuisine. Side dishes vary with season and what goes with the meat. Roast leg of lamb is an Easter classic, roast beef is not very common and game is often roasted for festive occasions. Lapskaeus – stew, resembles Irish stew, but mincemeat, sausages or indeed any meat except fresh pork may go into the dish. Farakal – mutton stew, the national dish of Norway. Very simple preparation, cabbage and mutton are layered in a big pot, along with black peppercorns, salt, and, in some recipes, wheat flour to thicken the sauce, covered with water and simmered until the meat is very tender. Potatoes on the side. Stekta polzer, fried sausages, fresh sausages are fried and served with vegetables, potatoes, peas and perhaps some gravy. Sitilab is usually eaten around and before Christmas time, made from boiled, salt-cured pig's trotter. They are traditionally eaten using one 
S. fingers, and served as a snack and sometimes served with beetroot, mustard, and fresh bread or with lefsi or flatbread. Historically Sidilab is served with the traditional Norwegian juliel, English, Christmas ale, beer and liquor, like aquavit. This is because Sidilab is very salty food. Pinakit is a main course dinner dish of lamb or mutton ribs, and this dish is largely associated with the celebration of Christmas in western Norway and is rapidly gaining popularity in other regions as well. 31% of Norwegians say they eat pinakit for their family Christmas dinner. Pinakit is often served with pureed sweet, rutabaga, and potatoes, beer and a kevit. Smalahove is a traditional dish, usually eaten around and before Christmas time, made from a sheep's head. The skin and fleece of the head are torched, the brain removed, and the head is salted, sometimes smoked, and dried. The head is boiled for about three hours and served with mashed sweet, rutabaga, and potatoes. Saad is a traditional Norwegian soup-like meal with mutton and meatballs. Usually, vegetables such as potatoes or carrots also are included. Game High cuisine is very reliant on game, such as moose, reindeer, strictly speaking not game, as nearly all Norwegian reindeer are semi-domesticated, mountain hare, duck, rock ptarmigan and fowl. These meats are often hunted and sold or passed around as gifts, but are also available at shops nationwide, and tend to be served at social occasions. Because these meats have a distinct, strong taste, they will often be served with rich sauces spiced with crushed juniper berries, and a sour sweet jam of lingonberries on the side. Offal Offal is eaten extensively, leverposte liverpate, being one of the most common fillings for sandwiches, along with silk, brawn, and tunge tongue of beef. Seafood The one traditional Norse dish with a claim to international popularity is smoked salmon. It is now a major export, and could be considered the most important Scandinavian contribution to modern international cuisine. Smoked salmon exists traditionally in many varieties, and is often served with scrambled eggs, dill, sandwiches and mustard sauce. Another traditional salmon product is gravlax, literally, buried salmon. Traditionally, gravlax would be cured for 24 hours in a mix of sugar and salt and herbs, dill. The salmon may then be frozen or kept in a chilled area. Since grav means, buried. It is a common misunderstanding that the salmon is buried in the ground, similar to how rackfisk is still prepared. This was the case in the medieval ages because the fermenting process was important, however, this is not the case today. Gravlax is often sold under more sales-friendly names internationally. A more peculiar Norwegian fish dish is rackfisk, which consists of fermented trout, a culinary relation of Swedish surströming. Until the 20th century, shellfish was not eaten to any extent. This was partly due to the abundance of fish and the relative high expenditure of time involved in catching shellfish when set against its nutritional value, as well as the fact that such food spoils rather quickly, even in a northern climate. However, prawns, crabs, and mussels have become quite popular, especially during summer. Lobster is, of course, popular, but restrictions on the catch size and season, limit consumption, and in addition lobster has become rather rare, and indeed expensive. People gather for crabfest, which translates to crab party. Feasts, either eating readily cooked crabs from a fishmonger or cooking live crabs in a large pan. This is typically done outdoors, the style being rather rustic with only bread, mayonnaise, and wedges of lemon to go with the crab. Crabs are caught in pots by both professionals and amateurs, prawns are caught by small trawlers and sold ready cooked at the quays. It is popular to buy half a kilogram of pie prawns and eat it at the quays, feeding the waste to seagulls. Beer or white wine is the normal accompaniment. The largest Norwegian food export, in fact the main Norwegian export of any kind for most of the country's history, in the past has been stockfish torfisk in Norwegian. The Atlantic cod variety known as skrey, because of its migrating habits, has been a source of wealth for millennia, fished annually in what is known as the lofotfisk. After the island chain of Lofoten. Stockfish has been a staple food internationally for centuries, in particular on the Iberian Peninsula and the African coast. 
Both during the Age of Sail and in the Industrial Age, stockfish played a part in world history as an enabling food for cross-Atlantic trade and the slave trade triangle. A large number of fish dishes are popular today, based on such species as salmon, cod, herring, sardine, and mackerel. Seafood is used fresh, smoked, salted or pickled. Variations on cream seafood soups are common along the coastline. Due to seafood's availability, seafood dishes along the coast are usually based on fresh produce, typically poached fish, and very lightly spiced with herbs, pepper, and salt. While coastal Norwegians may consider the head, roe, and liver an inseparable part of a seafood meal, most inland restaurants do not include these in the meal. In northern Norway a dish called molia, consisting of poached fish, roe, and liver, is often considered a national dish of the region, and it is common for friends and family to get together at least once during winter for a molakalis, loosely translated, molia feast. A number of the fish species available have traditionally been avoided, especially those perceived as scavengers, due to a fear of indirectly eating friends or family members who had died at sea, or reserved for bait, but most common seafood is part of the modern menu. Because of industrial whaling, whale meat was commonly used as a cheap substitute for beef early in the 20th century. Consumption has been declining over time, but whale meat is still widely available in all parts of the country and most Norwegians consume whale meat occasionally. Eating whale meat is not considered controversial in Norway. Other fish dishes include Rackfisk, Norwegian fish dish made from trout or sometimes char, salted and fermented for two to three months, or even up to a year, then eaten without further cooking. Rackfisk must be prepared and stored very hygienically, due to the risk of developing Clostridium botulinum, which causes botulism, if the fish contains certain bacteria during the fermentation process. Torsk cod, poached, simply served with boiled potatoes and melted butter. Carrots, fried bacon, roe and cod liver may also accompany the fish. A delicacy which is somewhat popular in Norway is torskitunger, cod's tongue. Lutefisk, lied fish, a modern preparation made of stockfish, dried cod or ling, or klipfisk, dried and salted cod, that has been steeped in lye. It was prepared this way because refrigeration was non-existent and they needed a way to preserve the fish for longer periods. It is somewhat popular in the United States as a heritage food. It retains a place in Norwegian cuisine, especially on the coast, as a traditional food around Christmas time. Preparation and accompaniment is for fresh cod, although beer and aquavit is served on the side. Stecked fisk, braised fish, almost all fish are braised, but as a rule, the larger specimens tend to be poached and the smaller braised. The fish is filleted, dusted with flour, salt and pepper and braised in butter. Potatoes are served on the side, and the butter from the pan used as a sauce or food cream is added to the butter to make a creamy sauce. Fatty fish like herring and bristling are given the same treatment. Popular accompaniments are sliced and fresh pickled cucumbers and sour cream. Fisksape – fish soup, a white, milk-based soup with vegetables, usually carrots, onions, potato and various kinds of fish. Sursid – pickled herring, a variety of pickle sauces are used, ranging from simple vinegar, sugar-based sauces with tomato, mustard, and sherry-based sauces. Pickled herring is served as an hors d'oeuvre or on rye bread as a lunch buffet. This dish is a popular Christmas holiday lunch in Norway. Curing The basic methods of curing are used, drying, salting, smoking and fermenting. Stockfish is fish mainly cod, dried on racks, meats are dried, salt curing is common for both meats and fish. Fermenting like sour kraut, is used for trout. Smoking is mainly used on the west coast as an addition to drying and salting, maybe because of the wet climate. Sauces and marinades Along with the rest of Scandinavia, Norway is one of the few places outside Asia where sweet and sour flavoring is used extensively. The sweet and sour flavor is utilized best with fish. There is also a treatment called graving, literally burying, a curing method where salt and sugar is used as curing agents. 
Although salmon or trout are the most used fish for this method, other fish and meat also get a treatment similar to gravlax. Sandifjords moor, a traditional butter and cream sauce typically seen fish dishes, garnished with fresh dill and peppercorn. This sauce originated from Sandefjord, a coastal city near Oslo, in 1959 by the Park Hotel. Gravlax, sweet and salty cured salmon, a filleted side of salmon or trout that has been frozen for at least 24 hours to kill off parasites, is cured with the fillet is covered with a mixture that is half salt and half sugar, spiced with black pepper, dill and brandy, covered with cling wrap, and cured in the refrigerator for three days, turned once a day. Gravit elg, sweet and salt cured moose, this treatment may be used for all red meat, but game and beef work best. It is the same procedure as for gravlax, but brandy is often substituted with aquavit, and dill with juniper berries. Pickled herring, a pickle is made with vinegar, sugar, herbs and spices like dill, mustard seed, black peppercorns, onion and so on. The pickle must be acidic enough to prevent bacterial growth. Rinse, salt cured herring is added and allowed to stand for at least 24 hours. Tomato pickled herring, this pickle in a thick sauce, 4 tablespoons tomato paste, 3 tablespoons sugar, and 3 tablespoons vinegar are mixed and thinned with about 4 tablespoons water, flavored with black pepper and bay leaf. Salt cured herring is rinsed, cut in 1 cm thick slices and a raw, sliced onion added. Let stand for at least 24 hours. Fruit and desserts Fruits and berries mature slowly in the cold climate. This makes for a tendency to smaller volume with a more intense taste. Strawberries, bilberries, lingonberries, raspberries and apples are popular and are part of a variety of desserts, and cherries in the parts of the country where those are grown. The wild-growing cloudberry is regarded as a delicacy. A typical Norwegian dessert on special occasions is cloudberries with whipped or plain cream. Strawberry apple pie is also popular because of its rich flavor of strawberries and apples. Rhubarb pie, pie in Norwegian, is another favored dish in Norway. German and Nordic style cakes and pastries, such as sponge cakes and Danish pastry, known as Wienerbrod, literal translation, Viennese bread. Share the table with a variety of homemade cakes, waffles and biscuits. Cardamom is a common flavoring. Another Norwegian cake is crumbcake, a paper-thin rolled cake filled with whipped cream. Crumbcake means curved cake or crooked cake. Baked meringues are known as pipe kiss, literally translated as girl's kiss. During Christmas July, the traditional Norwegian holiday season, many different dessert dishes are served including julekake, a heavily spiced leavened loaf often coated with sugar and cinnamon, and multekram, whipped cream with cloudberries. Breads Bread is an important staple of the Norwegian diet. Breads containing a large proportion of whole grain flour grovebrod, or coarse bread are popular, likely because bread makes up such a substantial part of the Norwegian diet and are therefore expected to be nutritious. 80% of Norwegians regularly eat bread, in the form of open-top sandwiches with butter for breakfast and lunch. A soft flat bread called lefse made out of potato, milk or cream, or sometimes lard, and flour is also very popular. The variety of bread available in a common supermarket is rather large. Wittenberger, crisp crusted wheat bread, grovebrod, whole wheat bread, often with syrup, loft soft wheat bread, sourdough bread and other German style breads. Baguettes, ciabatta, bagels and so on are also popular. During the Hanseatic era, cereals were imported in exchange for fish by the Hanseatic League. The German Hanseatic League and the Danish colonial masters obviously influenced the Norwegian cuisine, bringing continental habits, taste and produce. Norwegians are particularly fond of a crisp crust, regarding a soft crust as a sign of the bread being stale. Oat is used in addition to wheat and rye and is perhaps the most unusual cereal in bread making as compared to continental Europe and the UK. Seeds and nuts like sunflower seeds and walnuts are rather common ingredients, along with olives and sun-dried pickles, to improve the texture of the bread. Cheese 
Cheese is still extremely popular in Norway, though the variety of traditional products available and commonly in use is severely reduced. Norvegia is a common yellow cheese produced since the 1890s, as is Jarlsberg cheese which is also known as a Norwegian export produced since the 1850s. The sweet guidest or brown, red cheese not a true cheese, but rather caramelized lactose from goat milk or a mix of goat and or cow milk is very popular in cooking and with bread. More sophisticated, traditional, or extreme cheeses include the gamelost lit. Old cheese. An over-matured, highly pungent cheese made from sour milk, poulticed, made from sour milk and caraway seeds, and nakalost flavored with cumin and cloves. Beverages Coffee Norway has a particularly strong affinity for coffee and is the second highest consumer of coffee in the world, with the average Norwegian drinking 142 liters, or 9.5 kilograms of coffee in 2011. Norway has the fourth highest per capita coffee consumption worldwide. Coffee plays a large role in Norwegian culture. It is common to invite people over for coffee and cakes and to enjoy cups of coffee with dessert after the main courses and get togethers. The traditional way of serving coffee in Norway is plain black, usually in a mug, rather than a cup. As in the rest of the West, recent years have seen a shift from coffee made by boiling ground beans to Italian style coffee bars, tended by professional baristas. Coffee is included in one of the most traditional alcoholic beverages in Norway, commonly known as karsk, from Trondelag. Alcohol both industrial and small-scale brewing have long traditions in Norway. In addition, the volume of craft brewed beers from an expanding number of microbreweries, in the recent years has increased significantly. Despite restrictive alcohol policies, there is a rich community of brewers, and a colorful variety of beverages both legal and illegal. The most popular industrial beers are usually Pilsners and Red Beers bear, while traditional beer is much richer, with a high alcohol and malt content. The ancient practice of brewing julial Christmas beer persists even today, and imitations of these are available before Christmas, in shops and, for the more potent versions, at state monopoly outlets. Cider brewing has faced tough barriers to commercial production due to alcohol regulations, and the famous honey wine, Mjad Mead, is mostly a drink for connoisseurs, Norse and medieval historical reenactors, and practitioners of Asatru and other Norse neo-pagan religions. The climate has not been hospitable to grapes for millennia, and wines and more potent drinks are available only from the wine monopolies. Distilled beverages include a kevit, a yellow-tinged liquor spiced with caraway seeds, also known as akvavit or other variations on the Latin aqua vitae, water of life. The Norwegian Linne style is distinctive for its maturing process, crossing the equator in sherry casks stored in the hull of a ship, giving it more taste and character than the rar styles of other Scandinavian akeviter. Norway also produces some vodkas, bottled water and fruit juices. In rural Norway, it is still common to find hegemabrent, moonshine. For personal consumption, it is illegal by Norwegian law to produce beverage with more than 60% alcohol by volume. In Norway beer is available in stores from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. on weekdays and from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Saturdays. Moreover, you can buy wine and spirits until 6 p.m. during weekdays and 3 p.m. on Saturdays in government-owned and run liquor shops Vinmonopolet. Only true grocery stores are allowed to sell beer, gas stations and so-called fruit and tobacco, marts, fruct og tobak, or kiosk in Norwegian are not. References External links Seafood from Norway, Norwegian Seafood Export Council Norse Food in Historical Sources, from the Society for Creative Anachronism 10 Best Recommendations for Restaurants Serving Traditional Food in Oslo Norwegian Food Blog, Thanks for the Food, Norwegian Cuisine Explained, in English with Pictures Food Norway, Recipes on How to Make All the Norwegian Classics at Home